mama. A word that we all know, a word some of us hear a thousand times a day, and some are anxiously waiting for. It's a title accompanied by immense joy, deep loss, and hearty laughter. I'm Aubrey. And I'm Marin. We love mamas, and we love your strength and your sacrifice. We honor your easy days and the days where you hide in a closet. Because we have them too. We know that moms need moms, and that's where we come in. And the best part is, you can show up in your messy buns and sweatpants and we'll never know. In fact, we're probably in ours too. We hear you and we want to connect with you. This is your community. So welcome to our sisterhood. Welcome to our circle. Welcome Welcome to to the the Mama Hood. Hey mamas, welcome to this week's episode. We are so excited to be here. I'm here with Marin. Hey. We've got, <laughs> we've got some babies on our hands, and so you might hear a few little wiggles and or there cries. You go. <laughs> <laughs> right on cue. Um, today we're so excited because we're talking about ten must have baby products for when you have a brand new baby. You're bringing them home. There's so many different products we could dive into, but we thought we'd kind of narrow it down and simplify and just give you our tried and true, very favorite products that we've we just love. So yeah. We just cannot live without these things. I mean, like, we technically could if we (laughs) were in, like, you know, the 1800s. (laughs) I know, right? with what we have today, yeah, this is, like, our must-have product. So, yeah, we're excited. But first, as always, we're going to start with our our mom fail and our mom win. So every week we're just going to share something that's working for us or not working for us as as a mom this week. So, go Um, ahead, Aubrey. (laughs) Okay, should we start with our wins or our fails? Maybe let's start with our fails and end on a good note. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Okay, so I feel like, I guess this is kind of a fail, kind of not, kind of just like trying to get through this, but, so I have almost Irish twins. They're 14 months apart, so right now I have, um, she'll be almost five months, and then a one-year-old, so... Right now, sleep is, I mean, obviously, Marin's over here, just barely had a brand new baby, so she gets she gets me on the sleep thing, but, and the Irish twin thing, too. She has, like, three under three, so I guess my fail, or mama fail, is trying to figure out a sleep routine, because at night, like, I feel like I'm awake from two to five, every, like, because I'm juggling babies, and so I've never had that before. I've always, like with my other kids, like I could figure it out pretty fast just because they're the only baby of the family. But having two babies, man, you need to teach me your ways because <laughs> cause they just wake each other up or, you know, you feed one and then the, you finally like lay back down and fall asleep and the other one wakes up. So I feel like I could figure be better at figuring out a system for our family. Yeah, and you do kind of feel like you're failing when you can't figure it out. All I'm going to say is just, the first year with Irish twins or like really close babies is hard and then it just gets easier. <laughs> oh my goodness. I know. If you have Irish twins, connect with us because <laughs> we are figuring it out one day at a time. <laughs> yeah. And so if you have advice for Aubrey on that, yeah, I would out. love to hear. And um, what's yours? Mine is also just something I can't quite get figured out. And that is just this I'm trying to wean my kids off of their bottles. Oh man. <laughs> Um, so I have an almost three year old and an almost two year old and then I just had a new baby and um my boys they are just so attached to the bottle still and I know how do you take it away if like the younger ones can still do it you know like right I feel like I have to do it at the same time yeah but I feel like I would just completely where I just had a baby and I'm not getting any sleep I'm like why would I make my life so hard and take it away but then at the same time, my son is, he's a kid, like he's going to preschool, you know, like he needs to not be using a bottle anymore. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> we've tried, we've tried handing him sippy cups in the night. That's what we've been trying lately. And they just freak out and demand the bottle. And then I'm so tired. I just like give in and I'm like, fine, whatever. I just want you to go to bed. you're in survival mode. Yeah. You're just trying to survive this three kid biz <sighs> under three. So I feel like I've been failing at that lately. So if you, if somebody has some really great advice for getting rid of the bottle. I will say, though, I don't know. I just feel like you're doing a good job. So oh, I feel like survival you're doing mode, a good job survival mode is, is okay. And I think anything, you can give yourself more grace when you're in this period because it's really hard. 
<laughs> You're doing. So Aubrey's claiming she doesn't get any sleep, but she looks like she gets ten hours of beauty sleep every oh, night. Oh my word, I do not. Her gorgeous <laughs> is so face. Not true. So we're doing better than we think we are, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll keep telling ourselves that at least, right? <laughs> what was your win for the week? Um, <laughs> I think my win, and I have thought a lot about this lately because I do have. So I have a five-year-old and a one-year-old and it's like Tom and Jerry. They get along really good, but they're totally different sizes and they fight a lot. Not sometimes. They fight a lot, but they also are like each other's best friends and I love it. And there's a huge gap, not on purpose. We had a couple of miscarriages in between, so it wasn't, I didn't like plan for that to be that way, but I've ended up loving the gap. Um, and I was thinking about this yesterday because he takes such good care of her and I feel like, you know what? To me, that's like a win because I feel Mm -hmm. like, yes, they fight and half of my day is like tearing them apart and making sure they don't strangle each other. But I just, to me, when he was, he like, we were at the park the other day and he just was making sure she was included and that she didn't get lost or she ran towards the curb and he just screamed like, sissy, like trying to go grab her, you know, like that's he's cute. so protective of her. And I think to me, it's like, I feel like but that's hey, a win of give parenthood, yourself the right? credit you deserve. <laughs> you raised him to be a nice big brother. He's just a good boy. And I think that to me is a win. So yeah, I, I agree. Know. What about yours? Um, my win is actually, um, has to do with sleep. Um, because we have struggled my oldest has always been hard with sleep like he's always woken up a ton he's always been really clingy at night and kind of wanted to sleep with us or in our bed or whatever and we went through this really long like year of him needing us to lay by him in his bed in order for him to fall asleep and like we tried everything to try and get him to go to sleep in his bed by himself And so for those of you who are kind of struggling with the same thing, I'll just tell you what worked for us. You're fine. (laughs) Just nursing over here and totally (laughs) flashing. Sorry, girl. That's probably going to happen a lot. We have nursing babies. I am so sorry. I didn't. I don't care. Keep going. Thank you for breastfeeding. Oh, my gosh. I can't even go into that. (laughs) My win is figuring out how to, was that we finally found a way to help our little boy go to sleep in his bed by himself. And what um, do you do? I've never done cry it out. Not because I think you're like a terrible parent for doing cry it out. It's just because I can't handle it and more power to you if you can. Um, and so I've always had a really hard time with that and just not had the willpower and, um, so it was hard for me to just want to like shut the door on him and make him stay in there and um he just kept coming out so we kind of found like a middle ground and we just took we leave his door open we took a baby gate and just put it on his door so that he can oh. see us um yeah. and That's a good idea. yeah so we're not like forcing him to stay in his room but we are mm-hmm. <laughs> and he we put him down and we do his whole nighttime routine we do the same routine every night um And then he comes to the gate probably like three or four times before he finally goes to sleep. But um, he sees us. We sit in our room across the way and he comes to the gate and he talks to us and we say, it's okay, go back to your bed. And this has been the only thing after like uh, trying everything. And finally, after like two or three times coming to the gate, he'll just go back in his bed and go to sleep because he can see us. But he's not like tempted to run out of his room Mm -hmm. and stay awake, if Mm -hmm. you know what I mean. So that's worked for us. You don't feel like you're shutting the door on him. That's a good right. idea. And he's not sad about it either. Like he's not sad that the gate is there because he can see us mm-hmm. and talk to us. So um, that's been like our healthy medium between like having to like sleep by him every night and then also like doing cry it out. And so if you're like me and you kind of want a healthy in between, that's what we found worked and it may or may not work for you, but. I'm considering that a major win because bedtime just got so much easier for us. Yeah, totally. I love that. Yeah, we're in a judge-free zone. So <laughs> it's funny because there are a lot of hot topics with motherhood, you know, just like we're talking breastfeeding mm-hmm. and bottle feeding. Yeah. And I think it it's just doing what you do feels right is the right thing. You're the mom. so You always know what's right. And you always know what you can handle, too. Okay, so should we dive in? 
yeah, let's talk about this. Our 10 must-have products for a new baby. So we wanted to dive dive in a little bit different. Instead of saying all of our favorite baby products, there are way too many. Like, (laughs) we have tried so many, and we'd love to share those along as we go. But we thought we'd kind of simplify it down, and let's just kind of go over what we've come up with. And something else I want to say is that, like, we picked all of these products before having any type of compensation for it. We just love these products. We picked these products solely because we use them and we love them. Yeah, for sure. So the first one, and um, Aubrey's had a little more experience with this one, and I'm barely starting to use it, is the Owlet Monitor. Is this your first time using it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I have used the Owlet just on my last two babies. Um, I didn't, I don't think it was out when I had my first, but... I have a love-hate relationship with this. Um, The outlet went off on my little girl a couple months ago, and it threw me for an anxiety trip. And it's been like a month of recovery from it. (laughs) So I, but I, to say that, I still use it, and I still love it, and I still make sure she wears it. So does it cause a little anxiety for me? Yes. But do I still use it 100%? Because I feel like it's just an extra set of eyes just keeping track of her breathing and monitoring her. So, um... There are instances where babies have had SIDS or whatever and they were wearing an outlet. So I don't think it's 100%, you know, foolproof. But I do feel like it gives me a little sense of um, ease when I can watch her, like her oxygen levels and stuff Mm -hmm. like that. So I've liked it. I think it's worth the investment. Um, It is pricey. So if you can't get it at the moment, you know, don't stress. It's not like you're a bad mom for not having an outlet on your baby. I agree with like... Don't feel bad if you can't make the investment right now, though, because I just barely did two babies <laughs> without, without it. it. Yeah. And everything was fine. And I honestly feel like I had like I wasn't constantly checking, you know, I just and it moms was are so tired. Yeah. And I think I with my first I, I had to just like say a prayer, watch over him so I can sleep because this is not <laughs> you're just so tired. And so I think that Allah is just there to help give that peace of mind and we decided to make the investment this time around um just because our new little baby has like some issues she's really really small and had um some growth problems and so her lungs are really sensitive her heart has some sensitivities and so we decided to get it this time just for that like little extra peace Peace of mind and I've loved it I've loved like I've loved being able to check in on that. It is really like, as far as the usage of it, it's really sensitive. Mm -hmm. Like you have to make sure that you get it totally right every time on their foot. And it will like go off in the night if it like comes off a little bit, which I'm grateful for because we want to make sure that it's, it's on there. Just be aware, just be aware that like, if you're using it, you're using it. Like you're making sure that it's, it's on right (laughs) and everything. And don't get frustrated as there's like a learning curve with how to use it properly. Yeah, and they've come out with other stuff as far as like a camera and all that stuff. So just do your research and I mean, as far as recommending it, we'd say a yay on that one. So our next product. A baby lounger. A baby lounger. We have one sitting right here in front of us. <laughs> yes, we do. So I use the Docker Top. Marin uses the... The Snuggle Me. Organic. Um... They're, they essentially have the same purpose, purpose but um, maybe you just talk a little bit about the Dakotot and then okay. I'll talk about the Snuggle. So the Dakotot is shaped more like a raft and the Snuggle Bee is more like a, a it just looks softer. It just looks more like a, a pillow with a... It has an indent. Indent in, in the, the middle. middle. So it's essentially the same thing. The Snuggle Me Snuggle Me looks more... The Dakotot's pretty stiff. Which I do like. Like, I can carry her in it. Um, But the Snuggle Me looks... I'm like, she looks super cozy right now. (laughs) Mm -hmm. I like it. I think for those... Especially those first new days, I really like it. Technically, they're not supposed to sleep in them. Just for safety. But, I mean, follow your own gut on that, too. So, I like it just because it makes them feel like they're being held. And you don't have to hold them all the time. Yeah, and that's what I've heard is just to not use it, like, for when you're sleeping. But to use it Mm -hmm. when you're awake. Mm Mm-hmm. Um, you the mom. I love the snuggle me. The thing I love about it is that I have a really like touchy baby that who who wants to be held all the time mm-hmm. and she won't like lay in her bed or lay. They just want to be held. And so it gives you that. 
break. Yeah, <laughs> she minute. does. Like, she snuggles right up in it. It puts her to sleep. It keeps her, oh, like... she's so cute. It keeps her content for longer, like, for longer than if she's laying in, like, a bed or something. So the Snuggle Me is a little bit smaller than the Daka Tot. Um, Both are great. But I would say the Daka Tot goes, like, you can use that up until they're, like, a toddler, right? Yeah, so they have the larger one. Um, I think it's called a deluxe that they can use. There's measurements on their site, but I just, I like to use it when they're just little itty bitty. And then especially when we're traveling, I like to take it because then they feel like they're in the same bed wherever you are. So right. I like to take it and use it that way too. Okay. And um, the next is something I was going to hit on and it's the blankie. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make sure I'm saying it right. B-L-A-N-Q-I is the brand name. Um, They're postpartum leggings. And I cannot say enough about these leggings. Um, They have maternity leggings, too, that I could rave about on a pregnancy episode. Um, But I have absolutely loved these leggings. They are, like, a lifesaver for me right now with, like, my postpartum body. Like, they just keep me all, like, tight and cinched in. So do they just hit you at the right spot, or what's, like, better about them? Yeah, so they come up, um, they're actually called postpartum and nursing support leggings. So they come all the way up, like, till right under your bra line. Oh, that's nice. And they... Suck it in? Suck it in. They, like, cinch it all in. They're amazing. And um, they're super comfy, super high-quality material. They wash really well. Um, I was looking for something like that because I wanted, I didn't want a band, but I wanted something to suck me in. That's genius. They're the best. I would, I want to buy another pair. Um, they don't do what a lot of leggings do where I feel like they only have one, like one wear Mm -hmm. and then you have to wash them again. Like they have several wears before you have to wash them. Um, and then. For me as a nursing mom, I like that they come all the way up till under my bra line because then when I'm nursing and I lift my shirt, I still feel fully covered Covered. and like my belly's not hanging out. That's awesome. And their maternity leggings I also used and those were great. Like they support, like supported my belly really well and also kept me feeling tight. So they have, they carry two separate types of leggings? Yeah, they're all about moms, this brand. And so they've got, um maternity and then postpartum and then they've got just like everyday like mom wear leggings and then they have a bunch of active leggings too but um can't say enough about these postpartum leggings i can't they're in my dryer right now and i want to go snag them because i love them that much so they look cute too (laughs) okay next one on the list is muslin swaddles me and Marin both voted on this so lately there's been a lot of like stretchy materials coming out which is cool but I think we still prefer muslin I think it just they can wrap them tighter or I don't know I just like them because they get swaddled better they feel warmer to me too like they give them more warmth I think so too they're not gonna like stretch out of the swaddle I feel like yeah they can't stretch out of them they just feel also more sturdy to me in the long run they don't get the little balls on them when you wash them yeah true that I feel like the stretchy ones do and I think as far as brand names on these, I don't know. Like, sometimes I feel like I want to go to the fabric store and just cut out muslin. muslin. because it, Yeah, because it's all, to me at least, it feels the same. Like, the Cloud Island ones at Target feel just as good as the Aiden and... Ane. Ane. <laughs> we were calling it Anus. <laughs> just kidding. But for real. <laughs> I wish that was a joke. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, for sure. I think... Swaddles are what I use the very most, the muslin swaddles. And I use them for when they like spit up and stuff. I feel like I'm constantly just using it as, I don't use diaper rags often anymore. They double as a burp rag. And they absorb it well. Diaper rags, whatever. Burp rags, is it the same thing? (laughs) They absorb it the same as like a burp rag, whereas I feel like it just kind of would slide off the stretchy ones. Yeah, and the more you wash them, the more softer they get. So that's what I love And they come in tons of cute, like... I know. Cute patterns Cute and everything. For sure. So that would be, I think, my most used I think so baby too. product. You can never have enough sure. of those. Okay, little um, infant tubs. 
We oh. both use different ones. Right now, actually, I've just been doing the sink. But, <laughs> and I mean, that's that fine works. too. But the ones that we like, you know, I have never used your... Did we find out if it's Pudge or Pooge? <laughs> you don't know. I forgot to look it up. You guys, there are so many baby names that are. We want to do a podcast on an episode on this because there's so many baby names that like of products that are pronounced so wrong than what they really are. So, so it's either Pudge or Pooge Tub. I vote Pudge. <laughs> Cast your votes. <laughs> it's P U J. Um, they're not that expensive. They're like around 20 to 30 dollars and depending on where you get them and you can get them on amazon so we'll link to them um they're like the most i just like things is to it be what more you simple. unfold in the mm-hmm. sink okay they fold up that would help me not be such a tub mess and maybe we'd enjoy the tub because yeah. if they're sliding around it drives me crazy i used to have like that giant plastic one <laughs> that everyone yes. has like the typical and it just felt like such and like, it gets gross it gets gross. Yours away. I never know where to store it it feels like a giant burden mm-hmm. <laughs> it totally does <laughs> by the time it dries it's like time to get in the tub again like it's so <laughs> it just gets kind of gross let's yeah. be honest and it's ugly not that that matters there's just no place to put it yeah. Like, yeah. We're in the millennial it, it'll be stage. An we need a new... We need... It'll <laughs> we be need an eyesore. <laughs> Seriously. So, the Pudge Tub. <laughs> but I didn't know you found it for that cheap on Amazon? Yeah. Okay. It was less than... It was, like, around 30. Okay. That's good to know. On Amazon. Um. So, yes. I absolutely love it. I love things to be simplified. That's, like, my mantra this year is simplifying things. And it's just made of this, like, really soft foam kind of material and it folds in half and then you just unfold it and you just stick it in the bottom of your sink and then it so just genius. the baby just sits in it and um it kind of pools water in the bottom but then it has these little like holes on the side so it doesn't get too full i love that um it's especially good for new babies since we're talking about new babies like a big kid wouldn't fit in that like would a five-month-old fit in it yeah okay i think this is more like to cradle them and to kind of hold them in okay. a good position okay. in like a sink or a tub, but specifically a sink. Like this is perfect for like a little, maybe like zero to six months, I would say. That's good to know. Oh, and so easy to clean. Like doesn't have any like crevices or weird things on it. It's like so I just love it. OK, so another product that we both love is the baby wearing wrap. <laughs> <laughs> we're sneezing like crazy over here okay so there's obviously so many different brands to all of the things we're talking about so we'll just name a couple different ones that we like um i have a solly baby wrap and my first baby hated it and he loved like the baby bjorn because it was more stiff and upright whereas my other babies have loved the solly baby wrap so I think sometimes it's a baby preference too. They either love it or hate it, which is hard because it's kind of an investment. But if you're wanting to baby wear, I think it's a good option for sure. Yeah, I absolutely love the Solly Baby Wrap. Um, I've tried other ones too, and I feel like they perform the same function. But um, it's just, especially when you get to where you have multiple little ones, it's so nice. It's so nice mm-hmm. to just like strap them on, not have to put them in and out of a stroller. And I would recommend even putting them like practicing with them in the wrap when they're tiny, tiny, because they love to be so close to you and then they'll get used to it right off the bat. Yeah. Love baby wraps. I think it's an absolute like some type of baby wearing device is absolutely necessary in my opinion, but we prefer the wraps. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Our next product um, is a is a nursing cover but i will say not all nursing covers are created equally yeah true there's i mean i feel like i've had some pretty awful ones that like gave no coverage (laughs) (laughs) at all like we're hanging open on the sides or we're like super funky or awkward to put on the milk snob ones are good though yeah so i use that for um like for her car seat and nursing so it's super nice because it's one less thing to bring so I think that was genius whoever I mean they created it but just to have that you know be their car seat cover and then when you're out and about you can just use it or at home too it's nice 
Or it doubles as like a blanket, a quick blanket too. Or a burp rag. Yeah, <laughs> everything. <laughs> so if you if you don't know what the milk snob ones are, we'll link to them. But basically, it's like your most like basic. It's like two rectangles of fabric, like mm-hmm. sewn that you put together. Over, yeah, it's almost like a poncho kind of. Uh-huh. But I love that it wraps around the back um, because a lot of nursing covers don't. They just kind of go over your neck and then kind of stop at your sides but yeah totally. it wraps all the way around the back so you can have like full range of motion when you're nursing them you can peek down inside and like you're not showing off everything to the world yeah which totally. I love. and then they're so soft easy to wash i mean can't recommend them enough yeah those are good good job milk snob <laughs> um then the next product we have is that we have on our list is the undercover mama house dresses there are different brands of these too but i love them and i live in them especially when it's summer and you have your babies or just if you want to wear it around your house even in the winter it's fine um but it's just like butter soft dress that it's like a muumuu so it just has buttons in the front and i just live in it when i'm at home especially those new days with the baby so it's just easy to throw on to cover up with and to nurse with and to just live in when you're in your post bot- post post bottom postpartum body mm, that's <laughs> and like, bottom say that five times fast <laughs> I know postpartum body postpartum bottom and bottom, bottom. <laughs> and your bottom let's be real literally mm. yeah see I haven't tried these so now you make me want to go get one because that's me right now mm-hmm. yeah something like that they are awesome our last like totally necessary product is a really good diaper ointment that you love and I know that this varies like different babies have different sensitivities and so what works for us may not work for you but we'll share with you what works really well for us yeah so and we I've used um Marin's too but the one I swear by is the Burt's Bees diaper ointment it's it's expensive it comes in a little thing I don't know if it's more than your Aquaphor. I didn't see the size of your Aquaphor, but... The Aquaphor is a pretty substantial amount, but it is expensive. Like, it's like 12 to $14 for yeah. the tub of it, but it lasts forever. A little goes a long way, and for me, that's the only thing that works on that my works. kids. I know, because some of the stuff... I mean, we've tr- I've tried other stuff, too, lately, especially, and I have a little girl that has a really... Her skin's just more sensitive, but it, when I use the Burt's Bees... It just clears it so fast. So I love that. Aquaphor is good too, though. But I, between, that's, Marin uses the Aquaphor. I use the Burt's Bees, and we both swear by both of them. They're both great products. So so if you're struggling to find one right now, I know I've been in that where I'm, like, buying every diaper ointment. Start with those, and maybe those will work. Yeah. Um, I think that's our whole list. Did we get through it? We There are obviously so many more products that we love. Diaper bags, strollers, car seats. We're, we'll dive into those, um another time but we just love these for when you're a brand new mom you're coming home these are just 10 really good solid products to have at your house when you come home from the hospital or wherever you deliver your baby if you have other mom products that you absolutely swear by or love um send them our way and let us know what you think or if you love these products let us know what you think um yeah we want to hear them you can find us on Instagram at the dot mamahood. You can find us on Facebook at the mamahood community. You can email us at the mamahood podcast at gmail.com. And you can visit our site, the mamahood podcast.com. Yeah, come hang out with us. <laughs> and if you loved this episode or had any thoughts about it, please scroll down and leave us a review so that other moms can find this podcast too and we can continue to grow as a community and connect and help each other we're so glad you're here thanks for joining us and we'll see you next week